Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning from the Philippines. Hello. Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's been a while, I guess. <laughs> and how are you guys? How are all of you doing? Yes. yes. So, how's your weekend, Sunday in the West? Good morning. And good afternoon, good evening. Yes, good afternoon, good evening. Around and, the globe. Yeah, around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's wait for our subscriber to join our live. Hi, hi guys. So hopefully they will join today's live, right? Yes, hopefully. And guys, we are so excited for the meet and greet. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be announcing when is the exact date and time. So we'll be going to Cebu first week of uh, December. So hopefully, guys, some of you are in Cebu during that uh, um, time so yeah. that you can join us. Um, in our meet. meet and greet. So we will wait for the others so that uh, they will know that we'll be having a meet and greet this coming December. Yes. Oh, yes. So, so far we have 16 viewers. Hi, guys. Good Hi. morning. Morning, morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, actually, we, we, uh, we miss our live, guys. <laughs> we really missed talking to you guys but we cannot handle the situation sometimes especially what happened to Haley yes yeah. a huge problem for us good thing that Haley was so strong she handled it and after her medication in the hospital she was just playing but for me I was like really traumatized because I didn't know what to do. I was really at shocked at that point. Yes. Maybe you're thinking, where were you, Esme? Where were you and Roger? So Roger was busy typing. And me, me, I was actually taking care of Haley together with um, his cousin. So they were playing bikes. What I did is I put the couch in a horizontal way so that they would not bump, bump into the center table. So the center table was made out of thick glass. Say hi, Haley. Hi. How are you doing, Haley? How are you, Haley? How are you? <laughs> How are you? Show your boo boo. So my boo boo is already okay at my armpit. Yeah. Oh, bye, Columbus. So. Bye, Columbus. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. So, what I did is I put the sofa at a horizontal way so that they would not bump into the center table. Since there was his nephew there at the the living room, I was trying to change clothes in our, in our room. room, our bedroom, because I was planning to have a Zumba at that time. So I just leave the kids to him, but he was playing something on his mobile. So when I tried to, to change clothes, then I heard a big noise. So that was the situation. I didn't even finish changing my clothes. I, just, I was just wearing my bra when I went outside. So that's what happened. Right, Haley? Hmm. Haley was walking towards me and saying that she has a boo boo and she was crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, thank God everything is okay and 
Yeah, and the one is uh, healing. So thank God, thank God. There's no major complications and other things. Uh, we're just thankful that she's okay right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, for the mid and great in Cebu, guys, we don't have the exact place yet because um, when we go to Cebu next week, that's a time that we have to find a place. But uh, the date will be uh, um, December 9th. Yeah, December 9th. December 9th. And uh, that's Saturday, guys. So no work that time. Okay. So for sure, you can really enjoy. Um, enjoy. And together with your Filipina, because there are foreigners that they're Filipina. Yeah, so working. yeah, it's working. So uh, we choose December 9th so that uh, everyone can really join. Yeah. And the time is four, four in the afternoon. For the venue, we'll be announcing it once we get to Cebu because we want to have a venue that can really accommodate a lot of people at the same time. Yeah. Um, but we can announce there's a microphone, right? Yeah. So we'll be really finding a venue that will be comfortable for us. I'll get a move that microphone. Okay. It's okay to not have a microphone. <laughs> we, let's just have fun there and enjoy. Because this is our first time doing meet and greet, guys. Yeah. I guess, like, it would be a little bit uh, awkward for us. <laughs> yes, because it's our first time. But, yeah. Ev everything has a first time, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so shout out will i'll be there yes thank you so much for the support will and lee davidson hello welcome to our live good morning good morning from the philippines yes hello and john tell good morning good morning show me adventure van life hello from cebu hi hello hello where are you from cebu I'm from Cebu. I was born in Cebu, actually. So, guys, anyone, anyone who wants to join the meet and greet, guys, are welcome. So, the more, the merrier. The merrier. The merrier. The merrier. The merrier. The merrier. <laughs> so, yes. Um, Eddie Toe, yeah, where is your so. meet and greet B? Yeah, so we'll be finding that out once we get to Cebu. We'll be getting there early before the meet and greet. And of course, we'll be putting in the announcing the video, uh, announcing the venue of it before the meet and greet. So yeah. we're excited. So the more merrier. The more the merrier. Ano kabesh? So. Hello. 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 Gentel, best wishes to little Hello. mama getting healthy after her getting hurt. Yeah, I was stressed out. I didn't have enough sleep. And Lily was also have nightmares afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. She, she cries. <laughs> she cries in the middle of the night. I think that she really had uh a big shock with the experience that they, she had so she had a, a big cut on her knee and her armpit so her armpit was not really severe it was just a slight cut a slight cut while the one in the knee below the knee actually below the knee was so deep that there are just few remaining flesh you can really see the bone so i was like traumatized because i was thinking that oh god forbid my my daughter would if she sees the blood what would she do if she she would panic there was a lot of things that i was like thinking about that's the reason why i was traumatized i was so so trying to be like gonna calm, calm and calm and relax, but I cannot 
Because seeing her wound that deep was, oof, it was a lot for me. Good thing that Haley was strong and she was not really that, like, she was not really the, uh, she was not really that scared. Scared, yeah. Okay, best wishes. And married to a Filipina. Hi, Roger and Esme. We enjoy your channel from cold Wisconsin with my cold Filipina wife, Lul. Nana all. Nana na cold man. <laughs> what happened to your daughter? So it's what we, fat fingers typing, Lul. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and baby Haley. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. Yes. Bacolod or Cebu? Bacolod or Cebu. Glad to see you guys. We'll see you February. Glad Haley's okay. Thank you Thank so you. much, uh, Key. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's beautiful. Buya. Miss you, Haley. Miss you, Tita. Sexy. To find love. Um, beautiful family, hopefully traveling to Cebu, Philippines soon. Hopefully. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Good morning, Roger and Esme from uh, Mississippi, Eugene Harrison. Good morning, brother. Thank you so much for joining. Yes, and Jared, mabuhay. Good morning, Haley, Haley, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, the spelling of her name is Holly. Yeah, Holly. Yeah, short term for hallelujah. So that's why we call him hey, Haley. I won't be there until until February, but I hope you have a million people. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully, guys. Hopefully. She's showing her burger. Yeah, burger. Hoy, eat rice. So show me at uh, Naga City, Cebu. Naga ah, Taga Naga. Asa yeah. lapit sa Naga. Are you going to wear your fancy dark shades at a meeting? Up because all of the cameras in flush. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we're not celebrities. Yeah. But show me adventure. I plan to be there at the meet and greet. Hopefully. Wow, that's, that's nice. It's nice. So once again, we'll be announcing the the venue when we get to Cebu, guys. So after we we can find a place. So how hi how are you guys? Yeah. We're doing Veteran fine. Prime, we're doing fine. Yeah, we're quite busy because of the thing. It's a dress now. Um, that we're quite busy with Haley, and as you could see, we have a picture of me drawing. So yeah, that's one of the things. <laughs> one of the thing that I'll be focusing on is my drawings, cause it I was quite busy for past months, right? Yeah, we're quite busy, so I'll be focusing on that. And aside from that, we'll be focusing on Haley for her full recovery because still her wound is not really it's healing, but it's still it's very slow, right? Yeah, the big one, the big wound that she has, so it's healing, but it's so slow. I don't know why. Um, Eugene, family is always first. Take care of your family and everyone will be okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Eugene. Um, I am from Wyoming. I am here with my wife for two months. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. nice. So, How was the experience? Okay. Yes, hopefully you, you guys could um, join, join the meet and greet. Michael McNeil, good morning. Roger and Esme. Hello, Michael. Thank you so much for joining today. It's live. Scott, good morning, Roger and Esme and Haley from Australia. Hello. Hi. So good morning for from our no. Good morning to our old and new subscribers. Yes. I, I'm getting rusty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, thank you so much for our new subscribers that choose our channel thank you thank you and for our old subscribers thank you for all your patience <laughs> and thank you always for your support um veteran five ask me roger or roger do you know where is nueva isia is uh, i think it's in mindanao i don't know but uh Sorry, uh, Veteran Prime, but uh, I think that will be 
somewhere northern part of Luzon. Where do I see? Yeah, yeah. I hear that name or place actually. Hey guys from California. I'm really sorry to hear about your you guys' daughter. I have been there before and it is one of the worst feelings in the world. Yes. Right. If you can like get the, like her sickness or her scars, definitely we will get it. Because yes. we don't really want to our daughter to get hurt because she's still three and she already experienced that big of a wound for me. I've experienced that when I was seven, but she's still three right now. Yeah. So at her age and you can see her like, like suffered from any um, sickness, right? Yes. So it's really hard to, to see her. Um, in her situation right now so actually we we blame ourselves like um she has that or she she had that experience at her age but uh, i think it's a learning experience not just for her but also for us yes. um as parents so my Ubuntu shout out to family in Bayouan City from Bonbon Scott and DJ in it's Virginia nice. USA hello shout out City. Don't forget to hit the like, sub like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much. William Warren. Hello, Roger and Esme. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'll be moving to Rosario Batangas next year, June. Wow, good for you. Congrats. Awesome. I hope everything will be okay. Yeah, because that will be a long travel. You are celebrities to us. Ah, sana all. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Sana only celebrity. No, we're not. We're just normal people. Normal people all the time. I, we cannot consider ourselves celebrities because we're not really. Hello from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, hi. Hello, Eddie Moore. Thank you so much for joining. Hello from Davao City. We are getting married in two weeks. Wow. wow oh, your hearts. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations in advance. Yes, congrats, congrats. Two weeks. Wow. That's just quite easy. Like for sure. Time is really fast. Yeah, for sure, guys. You are so busy preparing all the important things. Well, congratulations, both of you. Congratulations. Rice are rice. I have been looking for some property, a lot of different places now. Uh, wow, well, the property here in the USA is really big money. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Yes. <laughs> Esme, your drawing looks good. I do paintings. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Me, I'm not really a, a good, good painter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good painter, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to practice, trying to develop my skills. Yes, painting was my first love, but now I'm practicing charcoal. Hopefully, I can improve my skills. I hope, because I don't really have a lot of time being a mom and all. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully. <laughs> can you give me some tips? Like, what are the paintings that you do? Do you do oil canvas or oil painting or other paintings? Like, forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Scott Ford, my one tag shout out to family in Bayouan that's already done. Thank you so much. Hello from Indiana, USA. New Good here. morning from the Philippines. Hello, hello, Mickey Stein, 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 Stein. So thank you so much for joining and uh, Good evening to you. That's in Manila, guys. Okay. Wow. Sana all las Manila. Sana all. <laughs> Bring me some Tagalog words. <laughs> <laughs> Sayang, dili ni katen sa meet and greet. Whoa. Yes, pwede, pwede bang ka maka -upload? Ikaw, Beshi. Yeah. Lang. Join na lang, join. Puyog, puyog na mo. <laughs> Malcolm Magnificent. Um, are there good hospitals in San Carlos? There are two hospitals here in San Carlos. We have the public and the private hospital. So the thing here, um, if you have major complications that they cannot handle, you have to go to Bacolod or Cebu. So yes. um, honestly speaking, not recommended at all because if you suffered like major 
problems or health problems it's pretty pretty bad because you have to travel and go to Bacolod yes. or Cebu that's the thing here in San Carlos and even the private hospital most of the time don't have available doctors on the spot yeah yeah that's the main reason when we went to the private hospital at first when Haley had her wound there's no there's no doctor yeah, there's no available doctor they rejected us. actually that's that's too like early five or six six p.m. Uh, PM but there's no available doctor there's no doctor on on the hospital there's no doctor like only the nurses yeah they don't have available doctors so i was like thinking to myself wow they just rejected us and they said that you can go to the the public hospital so um if you have um health problems or major issues better to choose in major cities or you have to to stay or live in major cities guys yes and if you have complications what we recommend yes. is try to really choose a specific area that has good hospitals yes because if Maybe. you go with even though you Maybe. go with the most laid back laid back islands or city nice. the only downside yeah. of it is they don't have good hospitals there like the equipments are pretty low you don't have good equipments there they're lacking of equipment so you need to go to the nearest big city in order for you to to have what you want so what mo what motivate you to do vlogs so we are motivated actually we were doing vlogs before and if you can recommend or you can see our previous videos we do exercise and eating vlogs yes but what did the man that recommended us to to explain what is the philippines or open the topic about philippines is of course calvin that's why we respect him so much because he gives us the idea and telling or what what is all about the philippines yeah. so he gives us that idea um maraming salamat ma'am <laughs> <laughs> i draw with charcoal on canvas then paint with acrylics oh okay acrylics over it so not really unique but it's it is great for creating yes we have our different types of unique ways but you know everything that being creative or art specifically is really broad so that's why i always ask other painters or other artists and how they do it and what what's their way because i don't have a specific way to do mine <laughs> i don't have a unique way so far <laughs> so hopefully i can get more and more things that can educate me and improving myself yeah. so guys for our topic today so uh today's topic guys we will be um responding their comments about uh canceling their trip here. trip or visit in the philippines <laughs> it's because uh of the the video where the viral like, video viral video we we have about uh the the tabu or the yes. deeper yes we don't know why <laughs> <laughs> so for you guys it's yeah i would say that it's not a way of you growing up and using the dipper yes because yeah, you used to you're not used to it for us that's what we grow up with so if you are staying here in the philippines it doesn't mean to say that you really need to experience the tabo or the yeah. dipper um for condos right now and apartments, restaurants, big restaurants, they do have the bidet, yeah, and they also have tissues. But for people that are not really open-minded with dippers and things, it's up to you guys. It's really up to you. Yes, for us, it's not always a luxury in every part of the Philippines. 
Yeah. Yeah. Comfort rooms in the Philippines, especially public comfort rooms, you will see big containers and dippers. Sometimes there's no water. Yeah, so maybe because they they they're they're saying that uh, it's not hygienic. Yeah, it's not hygienic at all because they're not used to, and uh, the the way uh, they saw the video, it's time consuming and uh, not unlike using a bidet or a teepee or a toilet paper. It's gonna be like easy for them. It's not time consuming. So, but when you used to like using the beeper or the the tabu, it's, it's there's no problem. Like it's fast. It, yeah, it's faster than than they think. Yes, you think that it's you think it's time consuming, but once you get used to it, it it's fast actually. For for us, maybe you're thinking that it's not hygienic because you are touching your butt and yeah. you're touching your poop <laughs> but of course there's soap guys there's soap so if you think that your hand is not clean of course you can use the soap multiple times so that you can make sure that your hands are clean yeah yes <laughs> so there are comments that uh, we have to answer here so that uh you'll be aware also yes and phil are you available for private consultation if i come to the philippines so for consultation some of our subscribers sent us um, questions yeah, yeah messages yeah and also replied because uh that question is really important for them so yes. we we answered and um, respond to their messages so not all guys not not everyone and we have to say sorry for those who sent us message that we cannot reply soon because also we have a lot of things to do yes yeah especially for cooking yeah <laughs> my private chef so uh, thank you so much for uh that question phil my wife, um, christine, my wife christine says hi Shout hello out, Hi, oh hi. And hello, hello. The hospital here is similar. There's no doctor and they have to get one if there's an emergency. Yes. Yes. And that's just devastating. Um well I think that that's common for um uh, like serious. private private hospitals. Like uh they have uncall doctors yes so when it comes to those situations that's the reason why most of the filipinos are going to the public hospitals because that's the only hospital that has a lot of doctors yeah. that they have doctors available and i i would not i say i would say that it, it's really important especially if it's an emergency yeah to have a doctor on the line but no, here in the Philippines is quite difficult. Yeah. Yes. So not unless if you are, if you will go to like known hospital. Yes. But uh, the thing is, uh, this is very expensive. That's true. Next is Jared. Morning, one K. Subs and growing. Welcome to the new Filipino power couple that everyone loves soon you'll need to go out in this guy's really <laughs> i don't think so but when it comes to 41k guys again we couldn't we couldn't reach this far without you guys that's why we are so grateful that you choose our channel because there's a lot of channels out there yeah guys. that's true guys so yeah. um we are so <laughs> thankful and grateful to, to everyone like who supported us up until now especially our um ogs subscribers that up until now are still here supporting and we would like also to welcome our new viewers and uh, new subscribers so we just want to say sorry that we can we can like we cannot do lives every week or um every other day because we have also things that we need to do 
here, like household chores and other stuff here um, that we need to uh, complete. So guys, a lot of things, we're, we're busy also. Yes. So that's why once a week or twice, that will be the max. Yes. If we're lucky, we can do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> And so but uh yeah, as much as sure. possible guys we have to connect with you so that's why you have to schedule live uh once a week yes and howard good morning roger and sv i hope you're doing well we're doing well guys and yeah we're getting there <laughs> yeah <laughs> And for those people that are asking about the manopo and how, what would be the situation if you're a guy that is much older than the parents? There was a, a comment at that, uh, at that topic. So even though that you're much older than the parents, you still need to um, do manopo because it's a sign of respect to the parents, even though if they're not older than you. All right. So um this is like, like a cultural thing that uh again we, we mentioned there that we practice up until now so for sure you guys uh, will be amazed if someone will grab your hand yeah you feel like royalty <laughs> a royal person <laughs> royalty like if you if you can feel that um royalty like you're a king yeah, yeah it's the same here like everybody especially for the kids they would definitely grab your hand and that's just a sign of respect to them even the parents would try to scold them if they don't do that right yeah and jordan morning from cebu i grew up with a dipper in 90s we saved more water that way dipper saved more water than running shower with strong water pressure Save more water means save more money. That's true. Because dipper, some of you guys would not say that it's hygienic because of the water on the floor. Yes, we are sorry for that because we clean our comfort room before we tape the video. That's yeah, why that's it, right. it's that's why it's wet. It's wet, yeah. And schlup. Hello, good morning, uh, Roger and Esme. Thank you so much, love. How are you? By the way, love, I, I sent a message or an email to you about uh, the the price of the the panels, the solar panels, and the battery. So hopefully, hopefully, you you see that um, um, email. Yes, and drug jam rock. Good morning, guys. There are many other countries using a dipper. They use that method in the U.S. at one time or another. So, yes, I guess in the Philippines, it's just common here. And I would not say that, like, all Filipinos experience that. Yeah, all Filipinos. Not unless that they're same as Asia Bailey and their toiletries has already a B-Day. So yeah. that's the reason why they didn't experience that. But all of us experience that in washing our butt. That's great. How do you pronounce it? Butt. Okay. Butt. <laughs> <laughs> Butthole. <laughs> no, they, they always say butt, like B U T, the way I pronounce it. So oh, okay. <laughs> I think I, I'm mispronouncing it. But. Itna. <laughs> so next is me and Steven to brand solutions. We are pushing for R and I table merch. <laughs> yes, we're we're actually we're talking about the SME. What is it like a T shirt or? uh a table <laughs> really a table <laughs> we don't need the merch <laughs> <laughs> please don't do the table merch um i told my filipina that i would only live in cebu or at least or Mok because it's close to cebu yes again when it comes to those situation you really need to talk it over to your filipina because some of your filipinas are uncomfortable with 
you know, they're not uh, like they're not comfortable living in other cities aside from their like home hometown. Because some of them are much more comfortable in their surrounding. So you really need to choose what will be the perfect city for you to live in. So for us, Rod, Roger and me, we decided to do San Carlos because yes, it's close to Bacolod and it's close to Cebu. And it's not traffic here, it's laid back. There are fresh vegetables, which you can definitely just buy at their um, wet market. I know their market, their public market. So yeah, that's the reason why we choose San Carlos, but there are downsides to it. Make sure that you would really know what is the downside. Yes, that's really important, guys. So in order for you to know the downside, so it's better for you to, to stay there for quite some time. Yes. And thank you, Michael McNeil. It's a pleasure to see that you made it too. Yes. yes. Thank you so much also, Michael. You're one of the OGs that up until now uh, still, still here. Support. Yeah, still supporting us. Again, guys, we, thank you so much. We really appreciate our everything, guys. So, is there a municip municipal garbage yeah. pickup? Yes, yeah. there is. Uh, sometimes they uh, pick it up like Monday, Wednesday, or MWF Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday. So it depends on their their schedules also. So brand solu solutions, net all ch channels are created equal. Yes, agree, agree. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for supporting us. I want um I'm one of the black sheep that uh, show up now and then to pretend I own the place. <laughs> hey. Haley, hi, see, see, hi to uncle. Tito, uncle Slav. Yes. <laughs> I'm already okay, Tito. Yes, sir. Is that a hand to head uh, gesture? Yes. Yes. Like, mano. Mano po is like, um, it's a pre colonial, pre colonial gesture that we do since before. Yeah. Before the, before the Spanish era. So, yes. Um, we used to do that since before, like the tribes, right? Yeah. Yeah. The up until now we uh, practice it. Yeah. So I think uh, that uh, culture, or it's already in our blood. It's already in our blood, and it, it passes through generations to uh, generations. generations. So um, we're thankful that uh, that part of our culture is still practice up until now, especially yeah. to. The young generations. It's not disappearing, but it's always there, and we yeah. mostly uh, practice that for our young ones. And um, wait a moment. I like the Manipo tradition. Yes, yes, it's it's a Filipino tradition, guys. Yes. So when it comes to traditions. Filipinos would always try to pass it over to the young generations and they would always be strict about it, yeah. especially the manopo. Like holding one's hand and putting it on their forehead, especially showing respect to their elders and people that are older than them. Yes, so you need to show that to the people or your parents because if you don't do that they will get angry yeah uh, what do you do if a kid with a bunch of uh gizzy pimples that's manipul it's okay it's okay brother uh there's no like um what do you call this like it's not disgusting I yeah it's know. not disgusting or when you respect someone Yes. Or even the kids. Um, even still, though they still, have pimples, yeah. yes. Still. Like, it's not about the physical feature of the kid. Yeah. It's always about how they respect you as an elder or an right. older age than them. 
So they're showing that you are respected. So that's the thought about Manupo. Um, oh yes, I saw it in hurry and forgot. I need to pull it up and get back to you. Thank you so much, love. Uh, Michael? Mm, I'm glad and happy to see you that you made it past 41K subscribers. You guys have have earned it from all hard work and determination, yes. Thank you so much. Roger, what is your job? Um, before, I, I work as a virtual assistant and uh, a call center. Call center and Asian, yeah. also IT specialist. Yeah, right? IT specialist. I'm glad and happy to see that you made it then. Either it's 8-5 in Chicago and very cold, 20 degrees now. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Cannot survive. I'm already wearing a jacket. Even here in the Philippines, if it's like 28 degrees or 27, I'm wearing a jacket and a pajama. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, you became thankful that it isn't kissing culture. Yes. <laughs> kissing culture. For us Filipinos, there was one time that my classmate and their best friends, one of my classmates married a French dude. A French dude. So when he went here in the Philippines, he kissed my class other classmate in the cheeks, on the cheeks. So of course in our in our culture, if you just saw that person and he would just suddenly kiss you, of course you feel embarrassed. Because you don't really we don't really do that here. It's awkward and it's embarrassing. So my friend was shocked and she turned red it was Feliz, and ah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so huh? she was like what happened why did he kiss me um even though it's on the cheek like it, you would really feel like oh my god why did he kiss me so it's not common but here in the philippines we do a traditional way which is manoko that's how you greet older people. So one subscriber made a comment and this comment goes like this. I cannot see. This comment is, that is utterly disgusting. disgusting. So utterly disgusting. So for you guys, of course, some of you would think that it's not hygienic, it's disgusting and you feel that you're stinky or you feel that you cannot use your hand in, anymore because it's contaminated yeah yeah uh for us filipinos of course we know we know that if our hand is dirty we know that it's common sense yeah so um we we, we touch uh our bad hole but since, yeah, we, we have this common sense also. It's dirty. That is why we have to clean thoroughly. So before come, you know, before coming out to the bathroom, we have to make sure that our fingers are clean. So that's it, guys. It's just that there are comments that uh, they really don't understand because we understand also that uh, they don't really experience that. So that's why we are showing because uh, um, when they visit Philippines, you snap to a culture shop anymore. Next is, uh, Steven Westford. Now we know how to do the dipper. It's much. I would say as a if I were a foreigner, it's better to know what is your alternatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Because uh, we can really say that you will be staying in the in major cities all the time. Yes. What about in provinces that you know you will visit in the province? Yes, and also it gives you knowledge to always have wet wipes and tissue with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because not all the time that there's a B day and also tissue paper and public comfort rooms so that's the reason why we need to pack 
right? You need to well pack your your things that you need in your comfort room. So what if you, you don't really have those things like your tissue, your wet wipes? What if? And the only thing there is available is the Double. dipper and the and container. The bucket. Yes. So if you don't know how to do it, so what will you wipe your butt with? Your underwear? Yeah. So that's pretty, pretty hard experience, guys. So now um, just thank us <laughs> if you experience that in the Philippines and then, oh, okay. Um, I saw their video about the dipper and the, the bucket. So now I know. So it's not hard at all. So Pumpkin Joe's my wife and they talk about putting a bucket and dipper in our uh, CR because the water is uh, usually cut around 10 p.m. until 4 to 5 a.m. in the Maggette. Yes. Yeah, that's very important, uh, especially you have water problems or shortage. Better to like put yeah. bucket or containers in your bathroom, even outside bathroom, guys, because that's really important. Yes, because not all the time water is available in the Philippines. There are sometimes, especially in big cities, there are a lot of people that use the water. So there would be shortage. And that's the reason why they have scheduled water. Yeah. Yes. So you need to have that container. So not just uh, power interruption, but also water interruption in the Philippines, especially in major cities. Because a lot of consumers. Yes. And yes, it is bitter. Uh, and okay. I told my Filipina Sibur or Mok because I want to be close to the good hospitals in Sibur. Yes. yes. Better, you know, better choice. Yeah, it's a better choice. You need to really choose what where to stay because it's uh, a struggle. It's a really a struggle if you would transfer to another city, to another another city again because you don't really like it there. Yeah. That's the reason why you choose a home base if you come here in the philippines you choose a home base and try to roam around the cities that you prefer or heard about that you want to stay in yes so again um for our topic today again again the, our topic today is uh all about the, the deeper and the preparation that when you come to the Philippines, you already have an idea. Yeah. So we answer the, the, the questions or the main questions that or comments about uh, the deeper that they cancel their their trip to the Philippines because of it. So it's not a reason because if you will live in major cities, deeper or a bucket or a tabu is not that common because uh mostly in major cities like let's say malls restaurants hotels con condos yes or apartments there are apartments also that uh they already have or installed uh a bidet a bidet a tissue again it's up to you guys if you have a filipina and you already bought a land you can definitely install. install what you're comfortable with if you want tissue and you want to flush your tissue and your pipes you need to have a pipe that will be convenient or okay with flushing tissue because here in the philippines most of the pipes here are not really good for flushing tissues and also yeah the, the toilet bowl uh, are not used to or built to flush uh, toilet paper yeah and toilet paper here in the philippines is Part. thick and uh thick compared to the the, the toilet paper which you can just you know well oh, flush flushing flush <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway guys nick hello good morning hello roger and esme and Haley. here he is again nick from germany and it's again 3 a.m here and i can't sleep because of full moon oh and crazy crazy ever when i can sleep you make live shot oh <laughs> so sorry guy so sorry nick <laughs> full moon so we're, <laughs> are you a werewolf <laughs> you're awake but yeah 
Thank you so much for joining our live. Um, again, much much appreciated, guys, for joining our live today. Yeah, thank you so much. And my life, Thai, what part of the Philippines do you live in? San Carlos City, Negros Occidental. San Carlos, yes, uh -huh, San uh -huh. Carlos, San Carlos. So next is, this is the first live stream I've ever oh. ah. I have seen of yours. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, uh, my life. Uh -huh. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. When were you guys thinking of having meet and greet in Cebu? So we're thinking and planning um, in Ayala. Yeah, in Ayala, guys. Ayala. It's convenient. Um, it's not really located in the center of the city, which is in Colon. It's yeah. a convenient area, and I would say it's secured. It's yeah. much safer than Colon. Yeah. So and the old Ayala, guys, in business uh, park. District. district, sorry. In business district. So we're planning to do the meet and greet. All we need to do is to find uh, a, venue. a venue. And then, yeah, that's it, because we already have a date and time. So again... Again, uh, date and time will be December 9, 4 p.m. Saturday. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're wondering, guys, we suddenly laugh or suddenly look at each other because sometimes as Filipinos, we always try to check our way of pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. So whenever Roger and me has a wrong pronunciation, we laugh at each other. <laughs> Hello, Christopher Corn. Hello from Ohio, USA. Good morning from the Philippines. Good morning, good morning. Uh, they need... A dipper shaped like a bum. Why? <laughs> so you need to put your bum there. So the dipper would be dirty. Dirty, yeah. Yeah, you need to really use your hand. Right. Uh, this is our question, guys. If this is my question or our question, if when you like uh, when you do or after the business or pooping, do you really touch your butthole? <laughs> they don't really touch it because they're using a tissue. They don't touch it. Like what about they use uh, a bidet? They, they use the the water pressure. Yeah, they, they just don't. use the water pressure and then use the tissue oh, and wiping okay. it. Uh, let us know, guys. <laughs> That's my question. Next. Does everyone still do it? The first time I, I seen it was when a young vlogger did to everyone when she got home from school. It seems very honorable and respectful. The manipul. Yes, 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 everybody does it. Even Haley. Yeah, even Haley, Haley guys. We train Haley to do Manopo in the evening. In the evening, guys, because that's how you um, try to honor your parents and you respect your parents. So every evening, like 6 p.m., you need to do Manopo. Like everybody yeah. needs to do Manopo. That's, uh, that's the uh, Tradition. traditional practice, like during nighttime. Yes. Hello from Canada. Nice seeing you three again. Much love from Canada. Thank you so much, Paul. How are you? Uh, Paul, base, basically, yeah. this bless or blessing. Mano means hand, yes. Yes. It's the hand blessing. Yes. Mano is a, actually in Spanish, guys. Spanish uh, word. Yeah, it's a Spanish word. But it's not... It's not a, a practice that we get from the Spaniards. It's a practice that we do before the Spaniards the, the, colonize us. Right, right. Have you seen many foreigners uh, working in the Philippines? What do they do for work? Um, Actually, no. Uh, for me, yes. They just do business. For me, yes. Yeah, there are a lot of foreigners that are in major cities, like in Cebu, in IT Park. They establish call center companies. Uh, business again. Oh, that's what I mean. Why? Nobody. Have you seen Bernice working now? They're not working. <laughs> they're 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 owning a uh, they're yeah, they're building or owning, owning a business. Because they know that the salary here is uh there will be huge difference 
compared to the West or in the USA. So that's why they decided to make a business here in the Philippines because they could uh, save money. IT specialist, good for you. Yes, thank you so much. My life would say, how old are you? Mm -hmm. How old oh. are you too? Go. Uh, I'm 30, 30 years old now. I just uh, turned 30 two days ago. Yes. Me, I'm 31. Yeah, 30. Yes, me is 31. 31 in Spanish. <laughs> you guys got tiny on screen. <laughs> Earlier, yeah. Yeah. Um, I heard that on the subject and not just kissing but relationship. Now, fathers and mothers in the Philippines typically don't tell their children that they love them very often. I don't think so. Depends on the family that if they would love their children, like you and your mom, they would, I say that you would feel it. Yeah. They don't really communicate that much often, but because like their gesture, the way they behave, you can really feel the love coming from your family, right? Sure. So, um... They don't really say it. They want to, like, just show and feel, but they don't really use words. Yeah, they don't, they're not vocal. Like, Filipino families don't really vocalize that they love their children, but they show it through movements. Yeah, actions. Actions. Because, you know, action speaks louder than words, as yes. they say. Even though you say, I love you most of the time, but if your action is not corresponding to what you say, it's not love. But if you, your action is much more deeper, you can really feel the love if you, you, get, if you get me, guys. That's just my interpretation. How about you? Yes, of course. Uh, you, you much better to... Do it in action, guys, than saying because let's say like what you said, I love you. The word words the word I love you or phrase I love you is very common yeah. or usual. So better to do it in action so that the person or your wife, girlfriend, really appreciate appreciate it. It's better to do action. But women likes to do both action and words. Because if you don't do both, nah, they still they, they still get upset. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Steve said, I know my lifetime, my Filipino girlfriend's sister found that her Filipino husband had text messages on his phone from one of his female workmates. The wife snapped his phone in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Filipino women are like dragons. Yeah. They breathe fire. Fire, yes. Be careful. <laughs> Steve, uh, negative 2.2 Celsius in Chicago. Wow, very cold. I've seen it in many family videos, in some P videos. It is biggest with kids to adults and when meeting elders. Many families still greet. Um, create or greet with Manipal when they go to family home. Yes, um, that's very common for for family or kids that they will visit to other or especially siblings' house or home. They will do that. They will do the Manipal. I was just joking. In part, the Italian, you know, why why they don't. The pimples, they slide right off. <laughs> the guy is an idiot is a sign of respect. Yeah, I found you guys from the deeper video and you did something right because now everyone is doing them. Yeah. Esme is popular. I'm getting popular because of poop. Because of the taboo or the deeper. Because of poop. It was actually a uh, remake. I've been in this channel for a while, but Tabo videos were really well taken by those wanting to know and those wanting to start drama. <laughs> Large ones, yeah. Use 
Use rain barrels, large ones. Yeah, I know in some countries they have large water tanks in case water goes out. Yeah, true. Are there good hospitals in Iloilo? Yeah, there there are. There are actually because Iloilo is a big city, so um, they have a, a popular hospital there also. If they cancel their trip because of a tabo, you don't want them there. Good morning from Chicago. Yes, 56 watching, 54 likes. Seriously, long term, pick uh, what you want for visiting for the first time or first time. Either try it out, carry wipes or paper. If they can't handle a visit for that, they will complain about a lot more, for sure. Yes, so. It, it, it's a it's a common sense also if they don't want to use uh, a dipper or a tabo then just bring a uh, toilet paper or wet wipes yeah it comes in handies for those of that scenarios or situations okay. sometimes sometimes there are available tissue papers nor even water yeah right I well, have really bad experience when it comes to pooping. Yeah, for sure, everyone. Yeah. Everyone had had this bad experience. Yeah. I swam rat rivers, rivers, northern New York. That but won't be hard. Yes. <laughs> of course. If you are a flexible person, Tabo would not be hard, but if you're a complain person, you always complain all the time. So yeah, Tabo would be hard for you all the time. All it the time. would be hard. And Derwood, hello from Denver, Colorado. Hello from the Philippines. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. So um, Scott Slob agreed they will complain about everything. Yes, well, that's true. yeah, that's true, guys. So, um, I just want to say, if you will visit here in the Philippines, just prepare yourselves because not all the time that, or here in the Philippines, not everything or all that Philippines can offer something for you guys. Yes. So it's a different country, so we need to expect that everything also will be different. It's a country. Yeah, country. <laughs> so Timothy. Because what's that? Cavalier? Cavalieri? <laughs> Cavalier. Cavalier. Hello from St. Cloud, Minnesota, USA. Hello, Hello. Timothy. Thank you so much for joining today. Hi. Very, we're very happy, guys, that you're here joining us today. So it's more hygienic to water clean yourself after a number two. Yeah. What's that number two? Number two is poop, poop, poop. Okay, number one is TP. Okay. So yeah, guys, uh, I would say yes. It's more um, hygienic and clean when washing water yeah. and soap. It's true. And would Phil? Roger, older woman. Nice. Yes. Much work. <laughs> Do women in the Philippines willing to to the what? will they like to date as men? What? Oh, continuation, John. To, to do or... Philippines like to go or with as men? Well, nowadays there are Filipina uh, women are interested to date a uh, foreign man. So, uh, if you will visit here in the Philippines um there there are foreigners who are like dating filipinas yes there's a lot a lot yes nowadays a lot yes words mean for less less than action yes next is sv isn't rubbing the cradles nagging rogers she's 31 going on 20. <laughs> going 20. <laughs> yeah i'm getting younger i guess oh, really getting younger where <laughs> no getting older i don't know i'm getting older because a lot of i have a lot of body pains yeah muscle pain muscle pains in my experience solid paper is not good enough cleaning does 
we have the expression skid mark, which is poop smear on the underwear. I prefer the bidet. Thank you for explaining the deferred. Yes. Thank you so much for your feedback, um, Chris. Yeah, that's why Filipinas are really clean. Yes, you don't really scent a yeah. lot because when we pee, we also use water. Yeah. We don't use tissue. So you don't really smell that saltiness. Saltiness on your... <laughs> your pee-pee. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of birthdays, happy birthday, Roger, for last week. Yes, thank, thank you so you. much, Scott. Uh, where are you from in the Philippines? Uh, Steven and Ellie Adventures. So uh, we're here in San Carlos City. Oh, uh, guys. So again, um, if you are in Cebu during that time, December 9, Saturday, 4 p.m., we'll be having meet and greet. Our first time. Our first time, guys. First meet and greet, guys. If you want to see us. Yes. And of course, we really want to see some of our subscribers. Yes. You're you're happy we're happy. We're happy that you'll be joining. Yes. So guys, hopefully you will join if you are in Cebu during that time. Um I'm excited at the same time. Of course, I want to look good. Look good. But I cannot look good because I eat too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting weight. <laughs> Next is uh, I'm in Cebu. Now it's 29 degrees Celsius, and I'm from Riverton, Wyoming, where it is 16 degrees Celsius right now. Yes, it's really opposite. In most cases in the Philippines, it's humid and it's yeah. hot. So you need to prepare yourself. And sometimes it's rain. It, right. it rains sometimes. It rains sometimes. Yeah, climate change. No, no, not climate change. <laughs> uh, yeah, climate change. Climate change. <laughs> yeah, climate change. Next is, are y'all in uh, y'all in, in inland, inland of Ilo? Ilo? No, we're not. We are, we are here in San Carlos, western part of uh, Visayas. Uh, Negros Occidental, which is close to Bacolod, two to three hours by bus. And from Dumaguete, it's like five to uh, six, six hours. hours by bus from Dumaguete. So hopefully one day we can visit uh, Dumaguete. Uh, we wish. Yeah. Because yeah. actually, that's close. That's close, guys. But... We've never been there. Why? <laughs> we don't have the money. <laughs> we don't have the money to go there. <laughs> so Daniel Scanlon, I'm from Alaska. Do you think a Filipina would like to come to Alaska with me if I take her? Well, it depends to your Filipina, Daniel. It depends. But most Filipinas, like, they're curious. They really want to, well, of course, they want to travel, right? um hello brother robert hello how are you it's been a long time big dog <laughs> yeah big dog uncle say hi to uncle say hi to robert. Uncle robert uncle robert hi show to uncle what happened to you show your knee uh boo boo you're geeky show your geeky yeah so hello brother robert how are you good morning to you guys from columbus ohio just woke up to use the cr and tune in <laughs> going back to bed did you use the dipper <laughs> well thank you so much for the super chat brother um robert thank you so much yes, thank you so much brother you really appreciate it that's a very big amount and a huge help thank you so much Okay, uncle, I want to go to the beach. Beach, uncle, beach. Yeah. Oh, someone. Yeah. 
Haley wants to go to the beach, but she said that her boo boo. My wound. It's six Celsius here and going to one tonight. Not too bad. Oh. Nah, no way. Too bad for us. <laughs> no way. I don't want that. <laughs> I'd be more worried about the curious people trying to sneak a peek at the foreigner while they're vulnerable than splash back. But the curious people. Curious can... people? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are. There are people. Filipino people are curious. But when it comes to those types of people that would try to um, be curious when you are vulnerable, yeah, yeah, those are the type of people that you cannot trust. That's the reason why it's okay to be friendly, but not too friendly. Yeah, you, all they need to do is to put boundaries or limitations so that they will be like you are not vulnerable and also they will respect you because of what you're showing like even we even us we are putting boundaries to someone yes. even to our siblings yes even you yeah right? uh given hand happy bonifacio day yes it's a holiday today guys in the philippines yes a lot of they people... actually they move uh bonifacio day is 30. this is coming 30 but yeah they, they move it today they move it today i don't know why why they move it today because i think they're thinking about workers yeah yeah so it's better to to have a have long weekend long weekend yes. yeah it's better that way <laughs> <laughs> oh miss me i'm getting younger roger really i'm getting older oh my goodness <laughs> Because he doesn't really agree. <laughs> I go to the Philippines a lot. Wow, where? Where in the Philippines, brother Daniel? Uh, guapa couple. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning from William and Yvonne in Toledo City, Cebu. Wow. Oh, I got Toledo. Good morning, Bill. Hopefully you can join. You can join us on December 9, our first ever meet and greet. Yes. December 9, Saturday. Yeah, and um, Roger also has relatives in Toledo. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Lotopan in Lotopan. You do, not me. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do, rather. <laughs> he has relatives in Toledo. Yeah. Mine is in, like, center study. Center study? <laughs> City center. City center. Kat lang ba? Next is um, kind for... Uh, Kind far we are in Co Cor Corona Dal. First, first time, time watching your live. We do six months in USA and six months there in Corona Dal, South Cotabato. Ah, Cotabato. Yeah, there. So, so, big dog with the mic drop. <laughs> yo. Yo. He, he's, a, he's one of our big supporters. Yeah. That's why he, he is big dog. <laughs> yeah. We really appreciate it, Brother Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, is she healing well? That video was heartbreaking. Ismi's face said it all. Actually, when we are at the hospital that time, Ismi is uh crying, crying, and the doctor or the nurse said, "You have to become Madame, Mom. <laughs> you have to." Uh, control your emotion <laughs> i was breathing so hard because i was like thinking that what if what if Haley bumped her head instead of her knee and yeah what if like oh my god <laughs> yeah actually guys we, we have this like um vision vision that what if Haley. that yeah hit her her face yeah, what if Haley hit it's, her face instead of her knee? Yeah, so that would be more severe. Severe. So, but we're that's why we're so thankful. We're thankful that this would just what happened to her instead of severe, it would be severe. Um, next is Love, is she healing well? The video was heartbreaking. I still hold the first visit to future family. I will go to the CR and shortly and yell out. Where is the toilet paper? I need help. <laughs> That's a good one. Now, like most of you guys, I'm sure you would panic 
if it's your first time coming here yeah and you didn't see the video that we did for with the dipper yeah so what most of you would really panic you would ask for I, toilet paper or you will shout where is the toilet paper help me help me help me <laughs> what i'm going to do <laughs> um i will be back in april my son and his wife uh will fly into cebu from uh okinawa japan, okinawa, japan. and spend a week there let's go to barakai or palawan Yay. wow I'm excited thank you so much for that yeah we're, we're so excited <laughs> I'm going to Morakai or Palawan. <laughs> That's what, that will be amazing. Yeah. That so will be amazing. once again, brother, thank you so much for this uh, super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And thank Tim. You. Hi, Tim. Good morning, it's me, Roger. Hope all is well. We're doing fine, Tim. Yeah. We're doing fine, Tim. Thank you so much. And thank you so much also for your message. Again, brother, thank you so much for this uh, super chat and we'll be looking forward to uh either Boracay or Palawan we'll next be year looking forward. yeah uh, we'll be looking forward for his birthday yes of course yeah <laughs> one bottle of beer afterwards three bottles of beers and then we have a dozen of beers yeah. we will stay uh on the beach <laughs> all day <laughs> no we will be staying at Nobis house yeah. there Nobis in house April We'll be celebrating Novi's house. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm excited because Novi's house is in, is in the mountains. Good morning, Esme and Roger Hobo. So I'll well. thank you so much, Tim, again. So, Cebu, Kubu. Good morning from Manchester, UK. Great content on the Dipper. Yes. Thank you for that video. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I, I'm, I'm already popular because of the Kubu. So yeah. No, it's not about a poo. It's about the deeper. No, oh, it's about the deeper. But yeah. it's the content about pooping. Well, that that's the most like important part. Uh, Roger's showing off his biceps. Uh... Actually, guys, I'm like losing. Yeah, he's losing weight right now. We don't know why. As I noticed, he's losing weight. Uh, what city do you live in? Uh, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental, Agarang. so western part of Visayas. I go to Cebu a lot. I think you two are nice. Oh, we're nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Daniel. Oh, Cebu. Yeah. Hopefully, okay. we can meet you sometime. Roger, I dare you to say control your emotions. Next time, is me is sent. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, guys. That's okay, Steve. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to meet you, hopefully. Better late than never. Don't forget to hit the like button. Come on, guys. It's for free. Yeah, it's for free, guys. So I'll be coming to the Philippines December 21st and going back January 1st. I'll be going Manila to Mindanao to uh, Cube, then to Iloilo. Cebu. Uh, Cebu, okay. Iloilo, then back to Mindanao, then back to Manila, then back home. Uh, it's, uh, That's a lot of trips. Uh, yeah, a lot of trips and also a uh, fun adventure. Yeah, it's fun, but you need to pack lightly. Pack lightly, yes. Especially the mystic flights. It's better to have a, a home base or place to stay for a month. And then just pack it lightly, guys. Like a backpack. And mm -hmm. don't forget your toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, so I said, it's me. sorry to say, but your S content is the best you've done. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? We and know, we know, brother. I'm so getting popular for that. Maybe our subscriber would, let's say, for example, subscribe, our subscriber will see Ismi, and then they will say, the hey, poop lady. the poop lady, the deeper lady. Okay. <laughs> we know it. <laughs> you know it. You have to be prepared. Okay, at least they know me. <laughs> the next is Derek. Uh, okay, Derek just recently got back from my first uh, trip to the Philippines, staying in Pil Pilar with my stepmom's family, and loved getting used to the dipper and eating rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I guess you gained a lot of weight coming here. 
Yeah, for sure. Yes. Most of you guys, especially if you're Filipina, it's really hands on. Like yeah. they would really prepare rice for dinner, breakfast, lunch, and they would have in between snacks. Yes, even yes. if uh, during midnight. Yeah, they get offended if you don't eat. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> That's true, offended. guys. It's true. So better to just uh, prepare yourself. Okay, yes. not best, but perhaps most uh, famous. famous. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's a little bit embarrassing? I also got engaged in the most beautiful Filipino lady I could have ever met. She is true and magandang Filipina. Yes, oh, congratulations. congratulations. Like people right now, is like they're lucky to choose their partner. Before it's not easy to find a partner. True. Yeah. True. It's not easy, but nowadays because if you come of, here in the Philippines. Yeah, because of uh, social media also. Yeah. It's easy for you to uh, find someone, communicate someone, yeah. and then meet in person. So not unlike before, really? past a few really? decades, it's pretty hard. If you're looking for someone or a Filipina, well, it's pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, it's hard because you are you need to wait for the letter to come. Yeah, and the letter else... would be one month or more. Yes, or else you have to come to the Philippines. Yes. Um, next is, you are great. I will be in Cebu for 30 days this summer. Year two are nice. God bless. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much, Daniel. Yes. And I know how to use the dipper now. Wow. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Even Haley had an experience that both of us were working and Haley was really wants to pee. Yeah, actually yeah. no Haley knows how to uh use the dipper already. Yeah. At her age. At her age. She's still three. So Haley just washed her pee pee. <laughs> yeah. She knows how to use it now. So, and also she knows how to use uh, a bidet. Yeah, she just knows that, how to use the bidet. It's just that she's afraid about the, the, the water, pressure. the water pressure, because it's too, like, strong for her. <laughs> she said that it's painful. She said, yeah, mama, it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, we still have eight minutes to go. Eight minutes, guys. So we'll be um, ending the live shortly because um, I forgot to actually mention you that one of uh, one of your nephew's wife, yeah, yeah, had a baby. Had a baby uh, a few here. days ago, and they're staying here for them to adjust. Yes, and we have to prepare for the food, the food lunch for for them. Yes, so she's still breastfeeding, and you know, if you are breastfeeding, it's really hungry. So yeah. you need to eat on time. And so far, she's still adopting in how to be a mom. Yeah, she's because still 21. 21 and uh, her first time. Yeah, first baby. So yeah. that's why we are really busy. Yeah, a yeah. couple of days right now because she was on i would say she was pregnant and had her due date on november 8th and her baby ha baby was Came born out. on november 20. no no november 19. 19, 19 november yeah. 19. actually we're expecting that uh she will deliver like same as my birthday <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to it, but yeah, she delivered deliver her baby at November 19th. Yeah. Close to your birthday. Yeah, very close. So they're here right now, and also we're we're happy that they're here because uh, like we have like people to talk to as well. Yeah, we have people to talk to. We're not alone, and it's it's good to have a a, a new baby, right? Yeah, like yeah. a newborn baby. It's not our baby, but yeah. Still, you can really have fun looking at a baby. Yeah. We wish we can have a baby. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Or in the future. Someday. Yeah. 
Na not soon, guys. Not now. <laughs> not soon. Not now. <laughs> I forgot, but I added another like. Uh, thank you so, so much, much. Uh, Michael. David, you can lose weight. It's the body shape that counts. Perhaps protein intake should be around 140 gram per day. Calorie intake around 3,000. Depends on your weight and height. Yes, Roger is getting... Uh, I think he's he's losing weight, but at the same time, he's firming his body. I don't know how he does it. For me, I am having difficulty shredding some weight. Because I eat too much. Um, slob, the water is supposed to clean, not to uh, invade. <laughs> I, I wasn't exactly looking for for her. My stepmom's sister played the investigator in okay. initiating the meeting between us, and I'm I'm ha so happy I can describe how I'm feeling about her. Oh, okay, wow. They are like the bridge. <laughs> yes, that's great. That's really great to know. Have a nice day. It was good to see and chat with you guys. Thank you so much for joining our live brand solution. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Sir. Uh, thank you so much for joining today's live. Yes. Harry Lynn, Roger and Esme, you are the most awesomely vloggers. Thank you so much for that, um, Harry. Yes. Very nice uh, word. Yes. New baby, hopefully y'all's time is great hopefully hopefully we're planning to have our baby if we already have a land and a house yes yes it's quite difficult if you are just renting because you don't know what will be if you can still have like you still have money right yeah yeah so it's better to have our, your own house your own land if you want to have a bigger family in the future all right so yeah. Yeah, we have to like think it wisely now. So we have to prepare everything before purchasing or buying a land. Uh, hello, uh, strangers. Gitche Leon Music it has land in the Philippines, as you know. I see that fire. Hello, good morning to you, Gitche Leon's journey. Roger asked me, there's no better leader than now. Well, makes sense, brother, but uh. We're not uh, rushing. rushing or ready for another baby because you have to prioritize um, like owning yes. our, our plants, our plants, especially the the land and the, the house. So toilet paper is a king, but also got these things called did wipes. When I went to Philippines, they came in handy. <laughs> <laughs> See, even Tim said it's handy to really pack everything yeah pack your what ways pack your tissue please if you're not ready to use a dipper <laughs> next is brand solution let me know if you're ser seriously want to pursue pursue march merch ah okay yes we'll do that no i will not <laughs> we will put it there it's me the dipper <laughs> it's me the dipper Dipper Queen. Next is Gigi. I will not back in that week. Maybe catch next one if I'm invited. Sure. You know what? Everyone is open, brother. Anyone will show there, show up. Welcome. Hey, they're welcome. And Slop said, working with several vloggers on staff, he has a merch connection, so it might be good to reach out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to hear or see you guys in the live stream. Thank you so much, uh, Bada Bing. Thank you so much. When I was there, I never imagined myself singing karaoke, but I did and slightly enjoyed it as it was fun. Yes, if you are with Filipinos, it would really be fun because it's really lively. Like you can really feel, feel everything, like the enjoyment. Yeah. You can really, you would not be uh, uh, out of place if you're with a Filipino. Yeah, uh, you will enjoy the moment, especially with karaoke. <laughs> yes. And uh, Slav is me the dipper. Yeah. Is me the dipper. Um, Slav, I'm getting no interest from anyone with the uh, merch. I shot my shot with the sweet one. <laughs> Shana, oh. Uh, 
again, you seem to have good community and American supporters merch might be a good revenue stream. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll do that, brother. We will let you know in the com community section. We'll post it if the merch is ready. Gitchi, uh, have you heard from her? I hope she is well. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think um, we have to end the live now. Uh, before ending the live, we would like to say thank you so much you all for joining today's live and we love you guys we love your support your time you. and um, again our ogs and to our new subscribers new viewers thank you so much for joining today's live see you see you our our next live stream thank you thank you so much Bye-bye. Love you. Keep safe, guys. Keep safe, everyone. Good morning and good night. So we'll be ending the live now. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Brother Robert. Thank you. Bye-bye. Keep safe there. See you. See you soon.